In your in your in your uh, article in Back to Godhead about Marx, you call him a what is that? Nonsense. A nonsense. You call him a Marxist nonsense. Yeah. What is this? What does that mean? Dialectic. Dialectic materialism. Mm -hmm. So we have written on dialectic spiritualism. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. He read it to us. He's preaching, I think, in Eastern Europe sometimes. We got a report. Has, has, he, has he written you? Yes, I heard that. But is he doing all right or not? From the report, it appears that he goes occasionally into some Eastern European countries. Mm -hmm. Mostly he's concentrating in England, Germany, and Scandinavia. He has a party, and they're uh, doing speaking engagements and distributing books. And sometimes he went in which countries? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Hungary. Did he go to the United States? He went to, uh, I think he was going to Budapest. Yeah, he's going to some communist European countries. They've made their vans with false bottoms and they hide the books underneath. So the border they do not see underneath the van is all your books. When they get in the country, then they distribute the books to these students. Revolution. Sometimes he said when he's speaking, the translator will not say what he is saying. Sometimes, because, sometimes he forgets them. Usually he speaks very carefully, guarded words. But once or twice he says, he starts speaking, you know, direct Krishna comments, and the translator looks at him and won't translate it into the local language. Sometimes he forgets himself and starts speaking about Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And the translator <laughs> suddenly looks at him. <laughs> Usually he covers everything. <laughs> yes, they a good job. Mm. He's a fit person, very intelligent. So in this way, well, you are all intelligent, you can plan. The aim is how to push books. That is first concern. In Bhagavad, it is very figuratively described that uh, we have got this body and the different parts, just like Arjun is sitting on the chariot. There is chariot driver, the horses, the reins, the wheel, and the arrow and the bow. They have been pillared. So this can be used for killing the enemies of this Prakasa. And then give up all this. Paraphernalia, chariot, wheel, just like after fighting, only victory, then you give it up. And so long this body is there, the mind is there, the senses are there, so utilize it for conquering over this material existence, and then give up your body and go away. Does the devotee, um, I mean, just like you're always enthusing us to push that forward. That is happening, you are waiting. 
that you have to discuss by surrendering the spiritual master to keep your weapon always sharp. And then take help from Krishna. The words of spiritual master, sharpened weapon, and just a prasad and bhagavad, and if the spiritual master is happy, then Krishna immediately will help him. He gives you strength. Suppose you have got a sword, sharpened sword, but if you have no strength, what you will do with the sword? Krishna will give you the strength, how to fight and kill the enemies. Everything is this way. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahā, Guru Krishna Kripa, make your weapon certain by the instruction of the spiritual master, and then Krishna will give you strength, you will be able to conquer. This figurative explanation, I think, last night I of Krishna, silent of Arjuna, simply we have to act accordingly, then we finish our enemies. They have no power, although their number is hundred times, just like Puru and the Pandavas. They have no power. Jatta Yuga is Sarat Krishna. Keep Krishna in your side, then everything will be touched. Tatra Sri Bija. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Rama, 